What's going on guys? This is your boy Crisis20. Excuse my voice right now, got a sore throat, but I just want to go through with this to you guys. I got the Nextless home theater uh, TV backlight. So this is what the case looks like. Says here it got strong adhesive tape. Um, low energy simple installation some different color modes that it come with all right it is um, 20 million colors It's USB powered and I suppose it's supposed to last 50,000 hours I got this because it's USB powered and I have a USB on the back of my TV so yeah so we're just gonna give this thing a try so let's open this bad boy up Right, comes with a remote. All right. All right. To start using the batteries of this remote, make sure you pull this tab right here to turn the remote control on. Well, just a little pamphlet. All right, so this is the USB. All right, and this is the roll of. LED lights <clears throat> I got this length of a roll so that way it can fit on my 65 inch TV so I'm gonna give this a try and see how it goes we have an instruction and user manual so it tells you the sizes of what this product covers so I'm trying it on my 65 inch. I'm hoping this product still works on my 65 inch TV. All right, so let's get it installed. So this is the back of my 65 inch. All right, um, so now what I wanna do is just test it to make sure the lights come on and things like that. quick and they got slow then they have, then they have auto then it has flash then it has Eight, seven, so I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So it's actually working, so everything seems cool. So now let's put the adhesive on and see if we can get things going. Now I'm going to try to measure it out and find a good length for it that LED strip. So as you can see, you have the he adhesive here and all you're doing is pulling this off, this paper, and then you're gonna stick it on the back of your TV. This here, you can put on either end of the strip. So you either take it off, take it off nice and slow, okay? And you can put it on the other end of the strip as well so let's see if I can figure something out with this all right guys so I'm midway into it and they have two long strips this is a long strip and they're gonna have another long strip here at the top this one here and this one here so we have to make sure that 
we put them both adjacent to each other up here. And also, we have to make sure that this LED controller, we have to make sure the controller sticks on the bottom, it sticks out. So that way when you use the remote control, it will receive the signal. So we also got to make sure that that is there. All right guys, so the TV is up now um, and the LED strips are behind the TV. So as I was saying before guys, the IR receiver is gonna be right here, all right? That's the IR receiver. I taped it right here so that way it won't move. So it won't be hanging everywhere, things like that. Um, so if you look at it right here, you'll see that this is the LED controller. All right, so that's that and I have everything up the way it should be all the LED strips and all that so we should be good there so now I'm going to shut off the lights and show you guys the LED strips all right guys so now I'm about to hit the power button so as I was displaying in the video earlier on they got different modes flash auto and things like that so it just cycle through different colors so that's the flash okay that's flash. This is auto. That's auto right there. Right, or you could fade, fade into seven colors or fade into three colors. The brightness settings will not work if you have it in like an auto or flash or you know quick or slow mode you have to keep it in the standard color and then you can change the brightness right now i am going to decrease the brightness so you see that's decreasing it now i'm gonna increase the brightness okay and you could change it to all sorts of colors it doesn't do the colors automatically you have to set them yourself and things like that so you could definitely cycle through the colors and see which one you like but just here's a few that's a pink one right there then you got your red and you got your orange, you know, things like that. And then you got your white. So that'll be white. So yeah, you just could play around with the colors and things like that. I don't know enough about the controller to really cycle through your own colors and have your own color cycle through things like that. I haven't got that advanced with the controller yet. Maybe I might make a separate video for that, but I'm just showcasing the LED strips and how you put it on. So if you like this, Please smash the like button for me, smash, smash, smash it. Make sure you hit the bell up top to get my notifications as soon as a video drops. Thank you guys for watching. This is your boy Crisis20 and I'll catch you guys at another LED strip tutorial. Peace.